everybody, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to be doing a book review. Um, today's book is Hazard by Frances O'Rourke Dowell. So, I'm going to just get right into the review. I'm going to do a quick summary, and then I'll give you some of um, what I thought about it, and then we can discuss it. You can leave me comments about it, and we can talk about it. Hazard is about a young boy that has been struggling with his father's deployment. He had been suspended from the football team due to his overly aggressive playing and anger. And so his football coach and mom decided that it may be best for him to see a therapist. And so he is now required to see a therapist before he can come back to the football team. So we have that going on. The most of the book is actually Hazard corresponding with his therapist. So it is almost like you're not almost like you are reading what Hazard is saying to the therapist. And there are some other interactions, like a couple text messages with friends and a few conversations with his mom. But overall, it is hazard talking to his therapist. If you don't have any of the therapist's point of view, you don't really have anybody else's point of view, just hazards. So that is the gist of it in a nutshell. That is most of the book. Um, the book does highlight how deployments, especially frequent deployments, affect a family as a whole and not just one person. Um, my thoughts of this book, I wasn't very fond of it, honestly. Hazard was essentially left to figure things out on his own, and he didn't have an adult around that he could confide in and help him work through the things that were going on in his life and inside of him. Uh, there are going, I'm going to speak on some spoilers here. So I, I tried to keep it as spoiler free as possible in the summary, but if you have, if you don't want to listen to the spoiler, I will leave a timestamp and you can skip ahead to where the spoilers end. So in the book, um, his dad loses his limb, he loses a leg, and he loses it during an explosion while he's in Afghanistan. He also has to make a call to shoot somebody, and he doesn't know whether that person is friend or foe, and it caused a lot of issues, and he refuses to see his two children. He has two children, and both of them are essentially left to figure things out on their own, and I was not very fond of that at all. Uh, because of this, because of everything that is going on with his dad, he decided he didn't want to see his kids. And he didn't want to see them at all until he was ready and had recovered. And I agree with some of that. I feel like he needed to do a lot of that alone, but he still needed to make some time. 30 minutes a week, an hour a week, set aside that time to help his children, the children that he had and he was responsible for, along with the mother that they both had, that they both were responsible for, to make sure that they were okay. I felt like that it did more harm than good with Hazard, especially because he became so angry and so lonely that he obviously became really aggressive in football. <sighs> the mom was also largely unavailable. She spent most of her time at the hospital with the father instead of trying to be there for her children as well. Um, she even told Hazard at one point during a conversation that she did not have time for him and his brother, that she had other things to deal with. And to me, that's not okay understand you're going through a lot, but those are your kids. You brought those kids into the world. You need to help them deal with this stuff. 
They are children and you are an adult. Find time. Hazard did have a lot of issues going on that I can understand. He was left alone to deal with what happened with his father. And it, to me, it felt like that they just left him alone. And then when they realized he was going through things, they decided, oh, you know what? We'll just send him to a therapist. So they let the therapist clean up what was happening instead of helping him. And then also sending him to a therapist to help him work through it while you're there for him. Um, I definitely would not read the book again. It was just okay to me. I honestly would give it a two, maybe two and a half out of five stars. I just, I wasn't pleased with it. I did not agree with it. I did not like it. I just didn't. Um... I give it the two stars, two and a half maybe, specifically because they deal with deployment and how it affects the family. So I do like that the author did highlight that, but I did not like how the parents just left the two children to their own devices and helped them figure things out on their own. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, it actually, the book might have been better if there was actual character development um, or even growth or even communication between the family, but we don't see that. It is kind of glossed over in the end and honestly the ending was really forgettable and I, I just felt like there could have been more there. So that is my review of Hazard. Um, it was a little bit of a rant and I hate that this is my first video because, you know, uh, it ended up in a rant, but that's okay because I've got a new, I, my next one will be a book that I read with my kids that I actually really, really like. And so come back and listen to my next review and I hope to see you guys next time.